Taking a look at GSRTA1. Uh, this deals with all the different dilation properties. Uh, this we'll cover it over many worksheets because there are quite a few key characteristics to dilations that we need to look at. This one in particular focuses on the idea of a scale factor, making things larger or smaller, and what kind of scale factors do that. So first of all, uh, this for instance is our notation, the dilation about O, uh, a scale factor of 2, uh, triangle ABC. Now a scale factor of 2 works the way we would expect it. If you multiply something by 2, it gets 2 times bigger. So I'm just going to rough it in, but basically whatever that distance O to A is, as you know, A prime would be here, O to C would be doubled as well, whatever that distance is. B gets doubled as well for B prime. And then when I connect to those, uh, I create a dilation of double the value. And uh, it's, a, it's a great, you can see it quite clearly, that doubling that's taking a place. Basically, if the scale factor is greater than 1, if you multiply something by 1, you stay the same. If you multiply anything by anything bigger than 1, 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.0001, we still get bigger. As long as the scale factor exceeds 1, it is an expansion or an enlargement. Here we're going to dilate by our point O here a half. And so this time if you multiply something by a half, you get half the size. So we're now learning that if you multiply between 0 and 1, between those values, uh, you will be a reduction. And in a likewise manner, whatever that distance is gets halved. Whatever that distance is gets halved. Whatever this distance is gets halved. And I'm just roughing these in, but you can see uh, the, the effect of that scale factor to reduce it down. Words that get used, uh, there's a lot of different words that get used, but when your K factor is between between 0 and 1, when k, and k is usually the scale factor variable, uh, it's a reduction or sometimes called a contraction, making things smaller, tighter. Uh, here, an enlargement or an expansion is when k is greater than 1. Now, just quickly, let me talk about negative for a minute. Um, the negative value, let's say k is uh, equal to negative 3. Um, this would mean actually that it's an enlargement. It gets three times bigger. So you can think of it as the, the value, the absolute value of that would still be three. So it's still a magnifier. It's getting bigger uh, in size by three. But the negative basically just means in the opposite direction. It isn't a matter of plus or minus like big or small. It means opposite direction. So for instance, if, if uh, in this case here, we used a value of negative 2, it would, it would go out in the opposite rays, the opposite direction, that value of negative 2. So A prime would be out here, C prime would be here, and B prime would be here and you, you go in the opposite direction. Do you see how the negative takes you um, out the opposite rays as it should? Let's take a look at uh, some specific examples of, of how to use scale factors and solve some problems. The worksheets actually just kind of uh, have you practice some of those things about uh, enlargements, reduction of scale factors, understanding size of scale factors and how it applies to uh, the layout. These first questions is basically uh, help you to understand whether we're getting larger, which is an enlargement, or a reduction. And when it's written with a colon like this, basically it's, you know, the image over the pre-image, which is, in this case, 2.5. This is another way to think about it. It's two and a half times bigger. So this would be an enlargement. Um, when you have shapes, you can kind of look at their uh, notation. A lot of students actually will call this an enlargement because the little guy got bigger, but notice who's got the primes on it. 
uh, the B prime, the A prime, that means this was the pre-image and this is the image. And so this, of course, is a reduction, kind of a tricky little scenario there. Here, of course, you're going to look at the scale factor number. That's a 5, and that's an enlargement. Here again, we're going to look at, uh, by definition, uh, that, uh, that dilation is upon a ray. Here is A, the uh, original or pre-image. Here is A prime, the image. And so we are definitely further away. That's an enlargement. Again, here, uh, we're testing your knowledge of decimals or fraction values. This is a reduction. And then finally, a scale factor of two-thirds. Two-thirds of anything is a reduction. Those are nice little things to kind of get a grip on how things work. This number line has always been a kind of a favorite kind of a problem for me. Uh, it's kind of tricky, and that's why I like it. So it says you're centered at T, so we're centered. our center of dilation is here. And we're going to move y, and y is right here. So in other words, we are basically one away this way. And if we're going to dilate um, y three times, so it would be 1, 2, 3. It would land on p. Now some students go 3 from where y is. No, but 1 gets you back there, 2, 3. And so p would be our location. Here, if we're centered at R now, so I'm going to just notate we're centered at R, and we're looking at uh, F, so F is way over here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away. We're going to dilate half of that, so half of 6 is 3, 1, 2, 3. Half of that basically is a dilation of a scale factor of a half, it lands us at W. To see how we're centered at R, we're dilating F. F is 6 away, and we're going to dilate half of that value, so of course it comes back to 3 away. Here we are at uh, P, so P is our center, and then uh, we're going to dilate something 4 times to land at R. So the final result is R, and it happens to be 1, 2, 3, 4 away, so we must have been dilating W because if we dilate W four times, one, two, three, four, it lands on R. Gets a little messy here. That's why I made a couple of these uh, to, to demonstrate so I can write on them and not uh, get too messy. Let's try a negative one here. This says we're centered at T. We're going to dilate M, so M is two away. And we're going to dilate at negative 2. That means negative 4. So it goes the opposite direction. There's one set of them. There's the other set of them. It would land at K. Do you understand that because uh, T is the center, M, this direction is now kind of our positive look at this. The negative is the opposite direction uh, to uh, values there. We also can look at um, just how these things set up in more of a, a typical relationship. Here we have a, b, it gets dilated out. We see that we have the 6, 7, and the 8. We learn that there's a scale factor of 3, and it's centered at O. So if you have a scale factor of 3, um, this value here, of course, is 3 times bigger, so it becomes 24. And if this is, um, this is 7, then 3 times bigger would be 21. Now, 21 would be the entire length here, uh, leaving 14 here. A lot of students, again, get this idea of confused, but if you have 7 and you multiply it by 3, you're at 21 away. Here, 6 times 3, you're 18, uh, would be this total value, but of course, 12 would be here. So, again, uh, in terms of the pieces, it's a 1 to 2 ratio. But in terms of the full dilation, it's a 1 to 3 ratio. That's always a confusing piece for people. But let's quickly go through this. This would be 24 here. Uh, o to B prime would be 21. And that's the 3 times bigger. O to A prime would be 18. And this is where it's now going to ask us about pieces. So this would be 12 as a piece from A to A prime. And B to B prime would be 14. And then it says, what's the ratio of O to A as A to A prime? Uh, that's a 1 to 2 ratio. Now again, don't confuse. Those are the ratio of the two little pieces there. But the full dilation was a 1 to 3 dilation. And just to show you a similar kind of question, we won't do all of these, but 
Notice how this is a reduction because the primes are closer to O. And uh, it gives us the full distance, and it says everything dilates a half. So that would be 4 and 3. And in this case, uh, would leave us 4 here, 3 here, 4 to uh, half of that is 2. And then we'll answer these kind of questions. Notice again, this is a dilation of 1 half, but the ratio of the pieces happens to be a 1 to 1 ratio. And you can fill in those so that you can figure this out.